How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming. Welcome back to Learning RPG Maker MV. This is uh, the focused look on the Chrono Engine. This is part three of the Super Guide. So um, in this episode we're going to talk about resolutions and the art files and how you change settings and the plugin parameters to make it so that your resolution will work for uh, the size of your window and everything. Anyway, the default uh, resolution of the game um, works pretty fine. It works great. <clears throat> but if you want to resize your window to like a widescreen or 16 by 9 aspect ratio, you have to change some of the parameters uh, in the plugins to push down uh, this artwork and push down this artwork and push down the gold menu. And also like when you get into combat to move that stuff around. And you're actually going to have to... Um... Let's see. I got to pause this. It's distracting me. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> you're actually going to have to remake or resize the artwork. You can see right here that this uh, artwork, this is the size that the window was intended to be, the game was intended to be. So if you want to resize your screen to be this size, you actually have to go into the art files and resize them yourself. So that's what I'm going to be doing and showing you how to do that as well. So we're going to look at some of the artwork and resize some of it. Um, first off, Let's look at some of the plugins that we've got in the game. So basically, um, all I've done is turn off the splash screen, put on uh, Yanfly's core engine, and um, yeah, and change some of the parameters. So the battle heads up display is right here. This is where you're going to be able to see, um, you know, the help file for what files you're looking for and what the battle HUD is is uh, looking at and then all the parameters to specify where the X and the Y locations that you want them to be drawn to the map um, that, that's for the the battle HUD we have the one for the boss HP right here um, combo counter you can move all these locations around to to whatever you want the one that I've messed with the most is I think it's this one the actor heads up display yeah, so what I've done here is I've basically added some values to the X axes and pushed everything down to fit uh, in that window. And I've done the same thing. So basically I've just gone down from the X value and I've set this to 520 and, and I've move, moved the X values of some of these to, to push them down. And I think uh, you basically want to set up this top one first and then check it. And change one number and check it, change one number and check it, and that's the method to go about uh, checking to see how it's moved stuff around. Um, the other thing is the gold heads up display and I've done the same thing with this. All I did was add some to the Y values to push it down. So I've just added to this parameter right there to push it down and that's it. Now if you want to if you want to add your own art you can easily do that. Let's see where are we at. This is the one. <clears throat> so you have some folders in your Chrono Engine that you wouldn't have in a normal game, like Actor HUD, you have Battle HUD, Boss HP, Chrono, a folder called Chrono, you've got Event Indicators, and you know, some other folders here. So you're going to want to look at these folders and check out the artwork, and if they are specified for a certain resolution and you want to change your resolution, well you need to resize those pieces of art. So let's go ahead and go to the Battle HUD, and let's take, let's see, is it this one, the Layout Screen? It's this one. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Photoshop. Let's close this. And let's open up that layout screen. So that was RPG Maker, MV, CE Tutorials, IMG, Battlehead, and Layout Screen. Okay, cool. So here we have our, our layout background, but what I'm going to do is resize it. So I'm going to go to uh, image size, and I'm going to go the same resolution of my game, which is 1280 by 720, but you put your resolution in here and resize it to that. Boom. And you see how it stretched it out. Now what I'm going to do is file, save as, and I'm going to name this as the layout screen.png, and I'm going to overwrite the old one. I still have my Mog uh, Hunter's Chrono project, so if I want the original, I can always take it out of that project and put it back into the one that I made. So now we've overwritten, overwritten this file. So now it's no longer that smaller one. It's a 12, it's a 16 by 9 one. So let's see if it's updated in the game. I haven't tested this yet, but we'll find out if it fixed it when we jump into a battle. So 
we jump into a battle and there it goes so that seems to have fixed it you can see that it stretched out that whole image for the window now and it and that works out perfectly fine so you would basically do the same thing with this image or or move it around and you can kind of customize what artwork is being shown where it's being shown and everything just by changing the plugin parameters so i want to do one last thing and and show you like how to move some stuff around <clears throat> By changing parameters, even though I kind of already told you how to do that. Let's look at our, our setup right here. Let's look at our gold win window. If we want to move our gold window, all we have to do is go to the parameters of our uh, plug-in here. Gold HUD. And let's change uh, the x-axis. Let's move it over to the, to the bottom right corner, right? It's already sort of at the bottom because I've added to the x value. So let's change the x or the Y value, but let's change the X value and scoot it over to the right. So let's add, let's see, 1280 and then blah, 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 blah. Let's say 800. Let's just put it at 800 and 640. Actually, I'm going to move it up to the top right just to show you we can. Um, let's just set this to like uh, 32. No, no, let's do 64. Okay, cool. And we'll move it again. But I just want to show you how editing the parameters right there will move the artwork around. So now we've moved our gold window from down here to up in the top right. And of course we can add some more to the X to push it across and we can um, take away some from the Y to move it up in the top right corner. So let's add more to the, oops, not that one, this one. Let's add more to the X, let's do a thousand. And let's say for the Y, we're just gonna do zero. See what happens. Boom, and now it's up in the top right corner. And you could move all your windows around just like that. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. I wanna keep some of these tutorials real simple, um, real short, so they don't get uh, too convoluted. This was just simply uh, where to look for your art. You can see it's all in your IMG, and you've got Actor HUD, you've got Battle HUD, Boss HP characters, Chrono, Enemy, or Event Indicators and uh yeah and even some for weather some different particle effects for weather but add your own artwork <clears throat> feel free to put in your own stuff and resize um just resize some of the stuff that's already here to fit the resolution of the game that you want and that always works you could always put filters on them as well uh to, to give it a different kind of look for example in photoshop if we wanted to put some sort of filter over that we could easily throw a filter over it but I highly recommend instead of just putting a filter over some other artwork uh, this is also going to put this green overlay so that might not look that great you got to keep that in mind too um, you probably just want to use your own like make your own artwork right so we can go like a new uh, what one or 1280 by 720 and we'll have our background, we'll put our background transparent. Ah, son of a bitch. There we go, now we have a transparent background. And then we could just sort of like paint our, whatever border we want, right? Uh, whatever artwork, I'm gonna make some crappy stuff real quick, so um, just to show you, but. Yeah, this is our killer overlay. And then we're gonna place something in there. <laughs> Let's go ahead and eh. File, save as, PNG file. And this is going to be a layout, layout screen, but we'll call this one too. Boom. Now I know that's crappy art. This is just for a demonstration. So what you would do then, inside of your folder there, where you have uh, actor hood, battle hood, it's battle hood, right? Okay, cool. So what we're gonna do is rename the layout screen to original 
you know, so that's the original and we're gonna rename this one take it off the two so it's got to be layout screen so now when we save it and we play it you're gonna see that the the battle layout is gonna look a lot different it's gonna use the artwork that we put in there see looks pretty terrible right but you get the idea you want to use your own artwork um, when you're making that uh, layers as well also set your uh, transparency you want to set some transparency so I would probably go right here opacity and set this to like that so that it's like you can see through it right like you it won't be a solid color but anyway that's that's garbage art we don't need to save anything else there yeah uh, that's basically it how to add your own artwork um, how to adjust the plugin parameters and how to resize the screen more to come with chrono engine thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it you want to see more tutorials like it let me know by leaving a comment what do you guys think of the chrono engine uh, what would you like to see in the chrono engine please leave your comments below thank you everybody who is supporting me on patreon if you would like to support me on patreon i'd love to have you come hang out in uh, discord and see if uh, it's the kind of environment we got lots of people so link to the discord and the patreon and the website all that's in the description below thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you guys in the next tutorial Bye bye